Hello and welcome back to the farm. Uh, today we are heading uh, over to the field here. We're in the 7R. Uh, we've got our Lely uh, Splendimo uh, attached to the front. Uh, but on the back we've not got our butterfly mowers. We've got our baler. Uh, and this is because what we're looking to do today is uh, fairly efficiently we're looking to create some grass bales. Uh, we want to, uh, we, we need to get some grass bales done because we are getting very low on our, um, uh, on our silage bales. So we're going to go and go and wrap these. Now I've come over here. Oh, in fact, I'm going to have to go back around because I wanted to approach from that roadway and I missed it. There we go. So we'll, uh, we'll just head around here and line ourselves back up because this takes us straight up to this field here. I'm going to unfold this and start up the mower and we want to do from straight from the get-go uh, and then we will switch over to our baler, start that up. There we go, drop it down and away we go. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to be going around the headland probably uh, five or six times on this. Uh, and this will create, uh, this will allow us to create silage bales on here. Uh, this is probably, I think this is the most efficient way of doing it. This takes out two whole stages of us running around the field. Because uh, all we need to do once we've done this is, uh, is turn around and go and... Um, uh, and go and uh, collect up our stuff. Come on. Lift up, please. There we go. So I'm going to position myself better. Because this, the thing this, that this has is this can and does uh, mow bits even when raised. If you hit a bump or anything... Uh, right, you can see there, in fact, it has been mowing stuff. So I want to make sure that I only, uh, that I keep it to the field uh, as much as possible. Uh, so that's what we're doing. We're, uh, we're just going around here. Now, nice, gentle curve around the top of the field here. And yeah, this is our top field. This is, this is the one up here. Uh, it's a little bit of an odd shaped field. It's, it's quite a big triangle to it. Uh, but it does produce some nice grass up here. Uh, it is well worked. And uh, and yeah, it's it's not in a position really where we can integrate it into any other field, unfortunately. Uh, I'm actually going to go around. We're going off the field itself a little bit because we can go right up here like this. And the, the grass right up the top here, that is not treated. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not quite as good as on the rest of the field. Uh, but it is worth having. Right, there we go. And lift up. Go out onto the road to get around here. Oh, really? Can I get round? No, I can't get round. Yeah, stop peeping me. Oh. Drivers around here, they drive straight up to the front of your tractor and then beep at you when you don't move out of the way. It's... Yeah, actually, it's quite rude. I've never, I've never come across anywhere that uh, that has uh, drivers quite as nasty as some of the ones around here. Ah, but never mind. You know, that's by the by. Right, let's put this down, and we'll head back down the side of the field here. Uh, so this goes uh, almost again. The field doesn't quite come over this far uh, as we're cutting at the moment. Uh, that's because we've got the copse of trees at the bottom of here. Uh, but we'll just pull in slightly at the bottom. Uh, but as, as you can see, it's quite a nice big area uh, that we end up getting off this field. And this is the advantage of using the square balers around here. Is that, uh, that yeah, they don't go rolling down this hill. Um, uh, other things on the farm. Uh, Dad has done most of the ploughing now. Uh, it is the thing he uh, really loves to do around here. And, uh, and yeah, so he's been doing that uh, and uh, has been uh, working hard at it and uh, has got most of the farm done. There's a little bit left to do, 
Uh, we've got a bit on the uh, just the other side of the road the field there needs doing. Uh, and I, to be perfectly honest, I will probably end up doing that in uh, a vlog. Because we haven't had any ploughing vlogs, uh, I don't think. Uh, beyond me doing uh, merging those two fields uh, a few vlogs ago, I don't think we've had any ploughing vlogs. So I will be doing uh, that in a bit, and, uh, and we'll do that. Um, but yeah, uh, that's really it. Uh, cows are going well. Uh, I am considering... As I said, we're, we're checking out our options in so far as what to do with the um, uh, whether we're going to start up something dairy again. Um, I think we'll end up with a we'd end up with a new cow barn if we did that. Um, I'd want to uh, I'd want to expand our farm and uh, and get that going. Uh, but so uh, there is that. Uh, yeah, otherwise it's all uh, it's all pretty good. It's all going along quite nicely. We do have we do have the uh, stuff here to support more cows, so we could very easily support um, some some dairy production as well as our uh, beef production uh, that we have going at the moment. So yeah, uh, there's there's plenty of possibility, and uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys up to date on exactly what we decide to do with that. I think that's quite an exciting way to go um, now that we've uh, now that we've gone completely on a meat production uh, with our uh, with our um, with our current herd of cows. Right, there we go. That will lift up. Yeah, liberty coming. Going to miss the speed. Oh no! Clip that. That'll get. We'll get that put up. We're always knocking those over get that uh, we'll come back and we'll get that put back up soon interesting positioning on the uh, on the bales it looks like we've got a fairly uh, though that first one that looks suspiciously like a hay bale It'll be interesting to see if our bale placements stay roughly where they are now. Uh, suddenly the way to cut this field is going to be this way, uh, the long way here. So that would be quite good. So I'm going to get the rest of these uh, headlands uh, cut out and done. And uh, and I'll let you know, you guys know how we're doing in a bit. Uh, when maybe we get into the field itself a little bit more. So we're on to our sixth and final headland now. Uh, this will give us plenty of space to turn around. And you'll be able to see this in this corner. Uh, where where we basically we will lift uh, in time for us to, uh, to then turn and get all the way around. And it, it just works, uh, you know, it works really nicely like that. Uh, and then we're, uh, we're able to just... Go up and down the field and uh, and get stuff quickly. We're going to do it down the far side. Uh, we've got a fairly uh, clear run that way. Uh, we've got a fairly clear run this way as well. Uh, we've got a couple of bales like that one. Oh, just knock that out of the way. Hopefully that's not uh, kicked up any uh, issues with the bay uh, with the mower. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, we we simply have very few issues uh, with doing this this way. Plenty of bales on the field. Yeah, really good number. Must remember, I think our first bale on here must have been mostly hay uh, from the previous job we'd done. Uh, that's why we've got a hay bale sitting at the top there, uh, and that will uh, that will dry out fairly quickly with that uh, with that hay at the centre of it. Here we've got uh, yeah we've got a decent number of bales coming out, and we should fill uh, at least one bale trailer off here what we're going to do is i've got this field and i've got the other one to do uh and what i'm going to do is i'm basically just going to uh, do this one uh, we'll go back we'll get the bale collector after we've got this field cut and uh and we'll collect the bales up and we will head uh, back to the main farm and we will go and create ourselves a nice snake of um uh of wrapped bales so that the uh, silage can ferment. I think we've got one unwrapped bale we're going to have to move first and I'll probably put that straight into my feed wagon. Uh, because, but yeah, actually you can see the change in the state of the field. So there's there's space to expand this field. 
looking at the layout of it, uh, you could integrate it into, uh, certainly into a couple of fields by the looks of things. So uh, I'm always, uh, I'm always questioning exactly uh, how I should handle this field. Uh, I think, I think we could possibly put the top half, top half of it could be merged into, to our already, well, what used to be our biggest field, of course, we now have a, a bigger field than the one we've merged. Uh, but certainly uh, this field here and the other two could merge uh, and give us a uh, and give us quite a big field. Uh, we've got options here is, is what I'm really saying. Uh, what I think is that uh, there are options for how we can uh, increase the farm uh, and increase the productivity of the farm. Uh, you know, sort of by getting rid of these, uh, these spaces like at the top of this field. Uh, which is less productive. Look at this. This is this is going down very nicely at this point, uh, and we should. I'm hoping to get at least a uh, a complete trailer off here. If not, what I might do is I, I might go and cut the other field quickly and get that done. But to be perfectly honest, we have enough here to uh, to transport back. I think. Oh, turned the wrong way. Let's spin this round. There we go. Woo! Ah. There we are. God, don't know what I hit there to make my... Really spun round. That threw me for six. It's like the... Tractor suddenly stopped. Okay, and round. Right, so uh, yeah, I will get the rest of this cut and baled, and then we'll head back to the farm and grab ourselves the uh, bale collector, uh, which should uh, should make short work of collecting these bales up. Getting near to the end now. It's it's getting some quite tight, quick turns in at this point. Uh, you can see that we're uh, we've only got a few rows to go. It is uh, it's one of those things where we've got less trips back to the yard to this. I don't know if this job is actually any quicker this way uh, because obviously we're not uh, we're not having to row and then bail because we're we're just cutting and bailing at once. Um, we certainly we've got less trips back to the yard because uh, we'd need to change. Uh, bits of uh, tool. Uh, the other way I thought of doing it, and I've not tested whether this tractor has enough power to do it, is uh, the butterfly mowers. I think we can attach something to the back of it, because these, uh, I think these might be reversible ones. I'd need to check the other ones. Uh, but certainly there is a set of, uh, I've seen a set of uh, mowers uh, that uh, if you've got a tractor that is uh, reversible, that you can turn the uh, the seat round and uh, and drive it out the back window as it, as going forwards. Um, there's sets of mowers that you can get for that uh, for that type of tractor that that then puts a uh, a triple uh, thing. Um, but that also the added thing of that, if you get that on a tractor like this that isn't reversible, uh, what you can do is trail a windrower behind. Uh, which I think should work, but I've never actually, uh, I've never actually given that a go. I'm not sure, as I said, I'm not sure our lellies, I don't think they're reversible. So uh, it's not something I think we can try on this farm. Uh, certainly not with our current setup anyway. Right, let's go around here. Take that. Yeah. Quite a uh, tough turn. And uh, there we go. I left a little tough of grass. But yeah, we need to uh, end up punching that out of the way. Right, that is pretty good. I'm happy with that. So uh, let's turn off our mower and our baler. We'll unload the baler. Once that's done, we will fold it up, fold that up and lift it, 
Uh, our pickup is still down on the baler, so we'll lift that as well. All right, let's get this back to the yard. Uh, go grab our uh, bale transport. And yeah, I think we're going to fill up the transport from this field, which is absolutely fantastic. Plenty of bales to get racked. We don't need anything as powerful as the 7R, so I've dropped that off there. And uh, we're going to hook this up to our bale sacker, which is here. Like so. Now oh, that single hay bale we've got on the field. Uh, I want to get that uh, done. Let's connect up our hoses. There we go. That will uh, that will sort the brakes out and uh, and make sure that the trailer actually goes. Uh, we did fix the engine issue on this tractor uh, when pulling this piece of kit, so uh, that's all working and uh, and going well now. And as you can see, yeah, it's got no issue pulling this now, uh, which is really great news because I was really worried about this tractor for a minute. Um, I've also seen a couple of um, a tractors, similar tractors to this, coming up for sale. Uh, so uh, I think we might be looking at those, maybe to replace our 4240, which is now going a little bit long in the tooth, and uh, it's sort of our general um, yard tractor. Uh, there's some uh, there's some two wheel drive versions of this about at the moment, which are these are these are difficult to get hold of. Um, they are very very liked in the farming community. Uh, uh, these tractors. These, these 10 series uh, John Deere's. Uh, yeah, because this, this is a 7810. I can't remember what it is I've seen uh, recently. I'd be tempted to get something like a 76 or something like that. Uh, just to sort of use to bomb around the yard uh, and replace our aging, uh, our other aging tractor. Or we'll just keep going. I'll see how we do. Right. There we are. Whoa. There we go. Um, next one. Rover arm does wait until there's a space clear before it clamps on to the next one. There they are. As I said, it should take no time at all to finish this up. And we'll get these headland ones off first and then work our way back towards the entrance to the field. Don't know how full we are. Let's just pop out and have a look. Uh, so we can fit at least three, maybe five more in here. We'll see, uh, because the robot arm won't obviously let us load anything up here beyond our capacity. Uh, but that's really good, actually. Five more bales is, uh, is less than we have left on this field. So what we'll probably do is uh, leave what we have left on this field to pick up until uh, we cut the other field. There we go. Yeah. So yeah, definitely have space one more. If this moves back after this, uh, then we know we have space for two more. She did so, uh, yeah, just two more there and uh, grab this one. Then we'll head back via the main road. So, we've got three up here, including that uh, that straw bale. Right, and, uh, have that. so three up here, uh, one, two. Three, four, five up here. So that's eight in total. Uh, this, I think, takes 24. So we'll, we'll go about a fourth, uh, sorry, a, uh, a third of that that's available off here. Uh, but we're just going to take this down to the yard and offload it uh, next to the shed uh, so that we can get this all uh, 
get these all wrapped up. And as I said, I think we're going to probably end up moving the unwrapped bale out of the way at the very least. No, we don't have an unwrapped bale. That's fantastic news. Right, so let's unload these here. Uh, and then we are in a position where uh, we can get them into our uh, our bale wrapper. Off they go. And we'll get that job done. Fantastic. Yeah. So again, we will uh, fold that back down. That ramp does sit a little bit proud. I might have to try and uh, sort that, I think. So we'll park, again, we'll park this over here. We're going to take the uh, the mower baler combo out again first. Uh, but first, having got that job done, into the barn. I'm just going to get this moved uh, and lined up. So uh, let's get it started. Right, there we go. I've moved it into position. So, uh, we've got the wrong on bit on this at the moment. So, we're going to drop off our bucket on our skid stick. Uh, and then, we're going to have our bale spike. And, uh, and what we can do is we can start loading these in and creating ourselves a, uh, a snake of rat bales. Bale spike is on, and we're heading back to our pile of bales, or our stack of bales that we've got on field. Uh, get that nice and straight. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know what that's done. Whether that caused an issue or not, then. Uh... But we should be able to do this quite nicely. Again, skid steer works really well with this uh, piece of kit. Because you, you want to get kind of right up here. And you can see to line up. I think that is still on. Yeah, there it goes. And through comes our rat bale. Positioned ready for the next one. So in here. So yeah, as I said, I'm considering putting sides on this. It's not... We kind of go through on this side. Uh, we don't really on the others. We tend to park stuff along the sides. It would give us a little bit more storage space um, up against the side of here because we wouldn't worry about blocking things off. And uh, and yeah, it would help protect, protect our bales from the weather a bit more um, uh, than it currently does. So, uh, yeah, I'm currently looking at options for that. Uh, I'm hoping we can get some stuff that will slot inside. Otherwise, we may have to whoo, replace this uh, replace this shed. There we are. But it's a useful shed. Um, I'm very pleased we built it. There was when we, f uh, I think years ago, my grandfather had pigs here. And, uh, and my dad... Uh, well, my dad completely remodelled it. There was um, he put the pond in uh, when we first started getting uh, when, when he started doing the cows. Uh, is a uh, is a great uh, place to load up water uh, for them from. Uh, and uh, yeah, the farmers whoop, not quite as far back as I thought it was. Uh, and uh, and that's what well and then uh, yeah when I took over the farm I built this barn here uh, it just uh, it made sense to me to keep our uh, to keep our bales close um, where we used to have the barn actually is uh, is out uh, in the middle of the field where we where we've just been uh, you might have noticed that there's a big patch there uh, that is empty and that's actually where our our barn used to be where our uh, bale barn used to be uh, at one time uh, and it was a much smaller thing and we had to stack our bales much higher uh, and of course our equipment we've uh, we've since we seem to rely on sort of lower stacking stuff these days so this is uh, this is going well I'm very pleased with this 
Uh, let's keep going and uh, and get these uh, in here. At this point, I think we've got just five bales to go. Uh, yeah, we've got just five bales to go. Uh, we're going to get these in, and uh, and that will be where we do today. I'm I'm really uh, really pleased how this has gone. It's been nice and efficient, as always, is what we're looking for on the farm. Uh, and uh, and yeah, we should get the second field cut and baled fairly quickly in the next over the next couple of days. Uh, we've got the last bit of ploughing to do, uh, and then we'll be on to the seeding, um, which is great. Uh, we'll be getting everything ready for next year. Uh, we've got uh, some great fields to uh, to seed this year, of course, uh, and uh, and changes on the farm in the seeding. I'm uh, I'm going over the crop plan at the moment. I know roughly uh, what I plan to do, uh, but uh, deciding to merge those two fields has changed my plans a little bit. So uh, I just need to make sure that we have the best plan for the farm and uh, and making sure that you know we, we keep our crop rotation up, especially in that field where we have merged two fields because those had different crops in them last year, uh, and I don't really want to repeat a crop. I think, looking at them, it's probably going to end up being a cornfield, uh, as in maize field, uh, this year. Uh, simply because that was not a crop we had on there. So uh, there is that. Uh, last two bales, let's get them loaded up. That's the thing. We're getting to the point where it's getting further and further along for the uh, bale wrapper uh, and of course we're going further and further the other way we are going to be able to fit a load more bales on this side which is good news uh, yeah obviously no way to stack these without actually unwrapping them uh, so it's going to be just a single row uh, but that's all right we've uh, we've got plenty of space to do things uh, we can leave these to the ferment So yeah, as I said, I'm going to head off. I'm going to get the rest of those cut. And uh, and so the next time I see you, next time we do a vlog, uh, we should have uh, all these bales, or all this grass cut and wrapped. But uh, yeah, that has uh, that's got a little New Holland done. Good number of bales here. Look at that. And, uh, and we've managed to butt it almost right up against the previous one. But yeah, that's a nice amount of silage bales there, uh, and uh, and will work really well. So uh, that's where we're going to leave it today. Uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.